Did Samsung just leak its entire future for Galaxy watches and phones? Because what we're seeing now feels like a sneak peek into a massive ecosystem overhaul. From beta surprises to smart coaching built right into your wrist, this update isn't just about visuals or speed, it's about transforming how you live with your device. And guess what? The watch is about to outsmart your gym trainer. Welcome back viewers, James here. If you're into bleeding edge Samsung news before the rest of the world hears about it, go ahead. Smash that like, share this with your tech crew, and subscribe for more wild updates like this one. Let's start with the Galaxy Watch update, because Samsung didn't just tweak the look, they practically gave your smartwatch a brain transplant. Deep inside Samsung's servers, hidden under layers of code, a new test version of One UI 8 watch has just been uncovered. The leak? A build number no one saw coming. A 705 USQU1ZYAAG. Translation, Samsung is nearly ready to flip the beta switch. This isn't just about smoother transitions or shiny new icons, though yes, you're getting a sleeker design optimized for that tiny round screen on your wrist, but what's really getting attention? The new running coach. And before you roll your eyes at another fitness feature, this one's different. It's not just track your steps or congrats, you hit 10K. Nah, it's a personal trainer built right into the watch. No subscription, no app download, no paywall. It evaluates your fitness level with a simple 12 minute run, then builds a fully customized workout plan just for you. It evolves as you do. If you're progressing too fast, it eases up. If you're ready to level up, it pushes you forward. And yes, it watches your heart rate in real time. So when you're running like a beast, it knows exactly when to slow you down or fire you up. This is smart coaching, Samsung style. Now here's the plot twist. While all eyes were on one UI 7 fishing rollout, Samsung pulled a fast one. Quietly, almost too quietly, one UI 8 started showing up, like digital breadcrumbs, left for the tech detectives. Beta banners were spotted in the Samsung Members app, and now users in India, South Korea, and the US are already receiving early access notifications. That's right, Android 16 plus One UI 8 is coming much faster than expected. But which phones are in? If you're rocking the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, or S25 Ultra, you're in the front row. These devices are confirmed to be part of the first wave. But not everything is sunshine for Galaxy users, because the S25 Edge, still radio silence. No firmware, no beta. Historically, Samsung sidesteps Edge and fan editions in early rollouts, and it looks like they're sticking to that script. Speaking of fan editions, the S25 FE is in the works and will launch with One UI 8 out of the box. No beta needed, just pure Android 16 powered goodness from day one. And don't be surprised if Samsung throws in extra AI driven features on that model, especially since One UI 8 is all about smarter, not just faster. But let's not ignore Samsung's mid range warriors. The Galaxy A53 is getting its moment too. One UI 7 just started rolling out in South Korea, weighing in at around 3.4 GB. That's massive. And it includes all the latest security patches and core Android upgrades. Sure, some flagship perks won't make it due to hardware limitations, but this update breathes fresh life into a crowd favorite. And while the A53 gets caught up, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is now being used to test One UI 8 in full force. Leaks say the updated reminder app has ditched the clunky hamburger menu for a sleeker three-dot interface and a new tile-style look. Think modern, minimal, and way more intuitive. It even integrates calendar features better than before, letting you add events or reminders with just one tap. Meanwhile, the quick share feature is rumored to be supercharged, offering faster and smarter file transfers. Samsung wants this to compete with Apple's AirDrop, and it's getting close. So what does this all mean for you? If you're already in the Samsung ecosystem, your devices are about to feel more connected, more personalized, and way more powerful. If you're not, you might want to keep watching, because Samsung isn't just building updates, they're building experiences. And we're just scratching the surface. Expect more AI customization, new Samsung DeX upgrades, and potentially deeper Galaxy Buds integration to drop in upcoming beta updates. So are you hyped for One UI 8? Will you be joining the beta or waiting for the full release? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's geek out together. And hey, before you bounce, remember to hit that subscribe button, like this video if it gave you chills, the good kind, and share it with someone who's still stuck on One UI 6. Catch you in the next video. Stay curious, stay updated. Peace.